If tiramisu is soaked in coffee, Omo Ali, the national dessert of Egypt, is some sort of bread pudding soaked in creamy sweet milk that's going to blow your mind. There's an interesting story behind it. Let's see what it is and how to make this amazing dessert. So the first thing I'm going to make is rukak bread, which is the base for Omo Ali. It's a super thin, crunchy bread, very easy to make. Start by mixing flour and salt together, then add the water and start mixing and kneading the dough for about 10 minutes or so. Don't worry if you're not an expert in baking or even don't like baking at all, as you can easily find ready-made rokak bread in any Arabic or Turkish shop. You can also use croissant instead of rokak if you can't find any. You can see that the dough is really tough and hard at the beginning but after kneading, it will be easier to work with. Shape it into a bowl and cover it with cling film. Leave it to rest for one hour to allow the gluten to relax. You'll notice how soft and elastic the dough has become after resting. Make the dough into a cylinder shape so it's easier to cut roughly in equal size pieces. This recipe makes about 11 pieces of bread, but it depends on how big or small you cut them. Take each piece and make it into a bowl, then start to flatten each one as much as possible. That's the key for the perfect omali. The thinner the bread is, the tastier your omali will be. So be careful! To help yourself flattening the dough, try to gently stretch it and pull it softly, as I do. Or just call Stefano to do it for you, as I did. <laughs> Bake each bread separately on 250 degrees Celsius, straight on the lowest part of your oven, not on the shelf, to give it the maximum heat it needs, making sure your baking tray is already hot. It only needs from 30 seconds to 1 minute to bake, depending on your oven. The bread should be white and crunchy at the same time. After baking all the rukak bread, just leave them to fully dry on a wire rack so you can store it in a container for longer. You can even cook them on the hob or bake them for less time so you can eat them like a sandwich. Hello. See this bread? Yeah. So you can make it soft like this. Okay. And eat it like sandwich. Okay. Sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, but this is what we're looking for. See how crunchy? Yeah. Okay, even I'm gonna toast it more with butter. See, try it. It's very nice. Yeah? Yeah, I really like it. It's very thin. Mm. It's more like sour bread. Yeah, right? I was going to say that. In Sardinia, we do um, uh, we do it actually with durum wheat. Okay. Only, not with flour. And it's the bread of, of the shepherds. You know, they used to travel a lot, so they needed something that could have um, left it for longer, and it was easy to transport. Okay. They could eat on the back of their yeah. bag. I think we do the same. So uh, we always set it like this, very dry, and then we soak it in, in a different and it becomes recipe. Soft again. With the soup, actually. Oh, amazing! So it becomes soft again, and then we stuff it with minced meat. Oh, so I'm gonna to... do this one day <laughs> soon. <laughs> you have to prepare it for me. Exactly. But it's very good. I really love the flavor, the sweetness. Thank you. So can you please help me cut this bread okay. like in little pieces? Okay. If you. Already inside? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put butter on top. And I'm gonna need some nuts okay. for the final dish. So some walnuts, some hazelnuts. Can I get another one? Yeah. Please. Madonna mia! <laughs> this is small? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, 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 you're right, sorry. Uh, I'm so gonna cut it small. Yeah. I'll do it myself. It's up to you. You made me blush. <laughs> <laughs> How? Like this, more like this? Yeah, a little bit small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, then this can wait. <laughs> After Stefano finally cut the bread in little pieces as I wanted, I'll continue grinding some nuts, whatever kinds you prefer. And let's break the other pieces of bread. And by the way, I only used three rukak for this recipe. Pour the melted butter on the bread pieces, 
Mix very well, then bake in your hot oven on 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes or until golden and super crunchy. And the final preparation for omali is the milky mixture. Pour the milk, condensed milk and cream together in a saucepan and stir all the time on medium heat not to burn the bottom. I always add condensed milk to omali to enrich the flavor, thicken the consistency of the mixture and to add the right amount of sweetness. As soon as it starts to boil, take it off the heat and pour it on top of the buttered golden bread we just got off the oven. And you hear this lovely sound? Oh god, yum! I'm so looking forward to this homemade omali. Well, I know exactly what I'm waiting for. Now, it's time for the best part. Did I tell you before how much I love nuts? It's quite obvious, huh? Add some raisins or sultanas as you like. This is your very own omali, so make it really yours. Bake it on 200 degrees for about 15 minutes or until it's toasted from the top. The more you leave it in the oven, the more the bread will absorb the milk. to me like something very comforty, which I usually love. Let's see. This must be the pizza. Mm. <laughs> really guys, this is not acting. I really wish you to try soon something like this. Because it's I'm sure that, especially for Italian people, they've never tried something like this. And this bread is fantastic. I love the consistency soaked in this delicious cream, which is just perfect. It's not extra sweet. And the fact that you toasted it with the ghee as well is amazing. Really, I really love it. And come, come closer. It's all soaked, but this, it's, it's perfect because it gives you balance when you eat it. You need that. So no, it's uh, outstanding, really. I love it. Omali is the national dessert of Egypt, made out of very thin bread called rokak, which also means very thin. The name Omali is literally translated into the mother of Ali and it's traced back to Egypt's Ayyubid era. It's named after the wife of the Sultan Aizeddin Aybek back in the 13th century. Um Ali, the Sultan's wife, ordered her bondmates to kill Shagat al dur in revenge of stealing her husband and killing him, as well as plotting against her son becoming the new Sultan. Shagat al dur was beaten to death with wood slippers by Um Ali's bondmates, and in celebration, Um Ali ordered her cook to create a new delicious dessert to distribute to all people, placing a gold coin inside each bowl for people to have. People were happy and chanting Omali's name and thanks and called the dessert after her. Very creepy, I know. <laughs> but apart from all of this, Omali is a darling dessert in the Arab world. So indulge yourself with this amazing, comforting delicacy. Alhamdulillah. Not yet. Alhamdulillah is after we finish. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, you're right. Stop it! No. I'm gonna be a greedy monster. <laughs> I was filming. So what, what were you saying again? <laughs> Not leaving me anything. Yeah, exactly. Get another ball for you. This is mine. 